All right, we're here to do Sol D. 28 reasons. Let's go. Okay, we got chains and cuts and bruises in the middle of a field. Okay. But she was still given a bed. So that's, that's crazy. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I started to hear some of the music come in. That sounded crazy, but... I love that when we when she looked over to the camera, the aspect ratio changed. The black bars went away. We went from widescreen to full screen. I love that fucking effect. Oh, that's creepy. Okay, we're getting spooky. Okay, <laughs> she's... Oh, we came in straight for Halloween. Spooky ho. Did you hear the way that the background... It distorted her voice. Yeah, that echo. But it was distorted echo. Twenty-eight reasons that ruined you. Ma'am, I don't believe you. She said I have no bad intentions. I don't fucking believe her at all. And then she says I want to keep teasing you. Girl, bye. You a lie. A liar, liar. Her fits in this already, though. I love that this dance... The way she's dancing is like reminding me of Taman because it's not it's not fast paced hard hitting. It's much more like slower, smooth focused uh movements that require so much more body control. I know that she was the one that woke up with the bruises and the cuts and stuff, but like I feel like she's the villain, right? Something ain't right with her. I'm not the devil. Okay, girl, bye. Mm -mm. All of all of the looks. All of the looks. Look at this belted outfit. Who was... She's not dancing with herself. She's not. Who was on the chain, though? She's dragging a chain. Who's on the other end? Sweet and bitter. She said I ruined and saved you. So you caused the shit that you're now fixing and trying to look like a hero. Oh, okay. That's manipulative. That's some gaslighting. Oh my god, the way she growled on that. Did she do this to herself? See, she's doing it to herself. Because we're having that, you know, typical light and dark white and black uh, argument, right? Good and bad? Oh, girl. That, that body roll move right there? She really said, I'm doing Halloween for y'all. This is spooky ho. Okay, we floating. Again, a lie. The more you break, the more you'll want me. Don't be tr don't try to be vulnerable and soft now. This is all a hook. This is all lure to get you in, and then you know, turn it on you. Okay, Billie Eilish, calm down. She said you've grown up. <laughs> Her vocal quality on this whole song, amazing. <gasps> she brought back the hand dancing that she did with uh, Irene. See, we're also bringing back the 
Was it whale tail? Where the thong was above the pants? Oh my god, she looks so pretty right there. I love this like horror, dangerous element to this whole video. And we just staring at the camera, girl, that, hold on. Good and evil people are not clearly distinguished. Good and evil coexist within one person, facts. Even if one seems good, greed and temptation always exist together inside. We simply try to resist from being captivated by evil, facts. Facts. Yeah, that was very clearly depicted through the whole thing of, yeah, she has a good and an evil side, but it wasn't like we're vilifying the bad in a way where we're trying to look at it as something we shouldn't do. She definitely gave off the impression that she embraced that bad side and she actually liked it. Like she enjoyed being that way and it wasn't necessarily that she's bad. She's just embracing both sides. I think that's it though. Yeah, 28 reasons. That was dope. That was fire and i'm glad that she went no don't what? i need to turn off this autoplay i need to stop playing myself i love that she went with a darker spookier vibe i really love that because i feel like a lot of people that go solo some of them go the extreme of like i need to separate myself from the group and show you a side that's not usually present in my group which Red Velvet does obviously sometimes get dark. I mean, we did have a whole music video of killing pizza boys. So they do do dark. Um, but this is still in a different vein than that. And it, it gives a nice introspective look at herself that she's sharing with us. So I like that. But it's also fantasy. It's not in a... How do I say it? Like, it's not in a way where it's vulnerable, where I'm like, I'm telling you dark parts of myself in a vulnerable, artistic way. It's still in a fantasy kind of way. It still has like a fantasy storytelling, fairy tale kind of element that makes it so interesting. It's so cool. I love that. And the dancing was really great. And the, out, the whoever was the stylist and the makeup artist, girl, give them a raise. Give them a raise, bitch. Ask them, give them a raise. Uh, yeah, that was soggy. Anyway, that's it. Bye.